Hi guys, this is G from BeatSkills and uh, I'm here to show you the Valvesk uh, 1.02 update and uh, you know the kind of improvements we've uh, already brought to this amazing plugin, popular plugin that you guys love. Um, I wanted to show you that it works great on Pro Tools as well and of course it's already working great on all other DAWs from Logic to Live and uh, you know Prisonus and Fruity Loops and, you know, Cakewalk and all the DAWs which support VST and AU plugins on Mac and VST plugins on PC or Windows and uh, the AAX on Mac. So as you can see, I've used one instance of Valvesk. In this case, I've loaded it up and it's only taking very little resource. Although this is, a, you know, pretty complex plugin and that's how it gets its uh, unique Valve distortion sound. But uh, we've optimized it further to not lose any quality, but be great on uh, you know your processor. So even older computers can use this very easily without draining your resources and give you that hardware sound which uh, we all seek and we're after. So I'm going to show you an example of a drum loop um, on which you know we'll, we'll work subtly and then we'll do the harder settings and see the different flavors and colors that you can actually achieve with this plugin going from subtle to slightly more distorted sounds. Uh, there's one more thing I want to tell you about this plugin is that with the 1.02 update, we've got a new um, algorithm working on the sound, making you know the harsher tones still smoother, as in it's controlling the peaks of the harsher tones better to give you even more dynamic range and uh, an overall better quality. So it's not just uh, a change in stability and you know improvement over certain other features like we have the double click feature. So if you double click, uh, the settings reset to you know their original default values. Um, but this new feature also adds, like I said, a better sound. So the sound is silkier, better, smoother, and overall uh, release, which makes this plugin juice even more out of your computer, give you a better sound. So let's uh, start working on a drum loop. This is the original loop. Let's listen to it. Now let's switch on Valvesk and start working with it. Uh, the input gain is also basically the drive. So when you use the input gain, you can actually drive the plugin harder there's no separate switch for that and then you have like of course all the modes of distortion distortion a and distortion b so distortion a is primarily triode uh, style distortion distortion b is pentode so second harmonic and third harmonic so depending on how much harmonics you want in your track uh, you can easily add it and then all of these have different settings to make them harder uh, or softer so let's start with the soft setting of distortion b which is the pentode mode and let's drive the unit a little You can already hear like the cream, the juice, the, you know, really, really awesome sound. And I've not even used any EQ at this point. Uh, let's go to setting two and try that. As you can hear, the distortion is like really uh, smooth, like a real hardware unit. It does not sound like, uh, you know, the digital distortion emulations we used to in the past, which uh, certain uh, plugin companies have come out with. Um, you know, sometimes they sound a little more harsh or a little different than natural distortion. So this plugin will give you uh, everything from very mild and subtle changes to very harsh. Now let's go into a little more harsh uh, zone. As you see, there's more, uh, still more distortion here as you pass more current. <laughs> and as I'm talking in hardware terms, like more uh, signal into this uh, system. 
and it gets even harder. Uh, distortion A, let me show you, is, is a more subtle distortion than distortion B. So it's a triode mode distortion. You can hear what it does to the sound. makes it round and warm and full. So this uh, distortion A gives it a more round, uh, warmer flavor. That means that uh, you won't find the higher frequencies distorting so much, but you'll find the mids and the lows catching the distortion. And it's a more creamy sound if one can describe it. So if you want a subtler effect on say your synths or bass and stuff, uh, you can start with distortion A. Of course, this has harder modes too. So we can see distortion A second uh, mode where we pass more drive. As you see, the signal is becoming louder uh, also, and it's becoming richer. So that's what uh, real distortion, uh, you know, tube EQs do or valve EQs do. They add a kind of body to the track, which, you know, we've added no EQ, as you can see, we've added none, none nothing, no post EQ yet. So it has uh, a way of making sounds, uh, you know, fatter, if I might say. Uh, hence, uh, you know, when digital re recording came about and, uh, you know, the first digital recorders came about, uh, people felt, you know, the lack of, uh, or, you know, the warmth or richness that analog gear brought in. And hence, you know, there was a resurgence of analog uh, equipment. But, you know, as decades have passed and digital technologies become so good that it, you know, it can really do analog emulations. We guys can do uh, a very good job of that. And uh, I mean, this is with respect to Valvesk, uh, as I've, shown in our other videos, Valvesk is a plugin which is based on our own proprietary technology called RTT. And this technology lets us actually uh, really record the sound of tubes and everything authentically and emulate them and, you know, come to an almost uh, complete analog-like behavior uh, with all the non-linearities and, you know, all the mojo that comes with analog gear. So uh, this is a plugin you should try for yourself. Again, I'll show you some more uh, Harder modes, let's see if we can pull this further in, in Distortion A. Still adds a smooth sound, yet, you know, a rich distortion. So this can go from very subtle stuff to very hard stuff and everything in between. You can dial in just the right sweet spot that you want with this plugin uh, without going over harsh, without it being confusing parameters. Um, that I think uh, we are consistent with uh, the motto of our company, which is uh, sound great and work fast or work fast sound great. Um, the idea is to allow you to, uh, you know, get professional sound uh, really good sounding tracks really quickly because a lot of plugins have these intimidating parameters and they are developed very clinically so you know their idea is to be very precise and clinical and all of that we are precise for sure but uh, we surely aren't clinical we let you uh, build your sound by ear uh, give you beautiful interfaces to match the great algorithms uh, that we've put in so um, again don't take our word for it don't take my word for it uh, there's a full 15 day trial on Valves, slam pro and uh, on other, other plugins and you can just download them and use them on your tracks fully functional for 15 days see if you can get the sound that you're looking for and um, if it's for you then of course go for it uh, this is Gaurav I just wanted to introduce you to version 1.02 Valvesk and uh, I'll be back with more reviews of our plugins and also introducing some of the new bundles and plugins coming up on Beach Skills. thanks again for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful week uh, I'll see you next time